So welcome to my finished pages for October. Um, as you can see, I have um, done a few more than in the last month. And we will start with my Sommerspaziergang from Rita Biermann. And I have done um, two um, images here. Um, the first one was the advertisement side for mein Herbstspaziergang. And I have done this in um, semi-art watercolors and my old colored pencils. And then I have done a double page spread where I used also semi-art watercolors, my old colored pencils, but also um, a new one for me, um, acrylic paint from Magic Fly. And I have used the Mars Black, which is a black uh, containing gold glitter, because I thought that would um, do nicely with uh, the sunflowers. Um, can't see it very good, but uh, at least a little bit. Um, I am totally new to acrylic paint, so <laughs> Um, yeah, was a new one for me, but I have bought years ago a set with um, chameleon uh, and uh, glitter, metallic uh, uh, acrylic paints, and yeah, I thought I should start using them. <laughs> so yeah, then I have done a page in Imagimorphia from Kirby Rosanes, and I have done a page here. Uh, with a, a very unusual color palette. Uh, I've searched for uh, fantasy color palettes and um, I've used this one because I thought uh, this image is uh, around three times in this book. I've already done uh, another version here and I still have the name page. Um, so I thought, yeah, why not uh, do something uh, a little bit <laughs> different? I've used semi-art watercolors, my old colored pencils, as well as um, pastel colored pencils from Faber-Castell. Um, that are the classic ones in the red um, package. Uh, white gel pen, uh, metallic uh, watercolors from, no, no, not, met not metallic watercolors, I'm sorry. Um, and the white gel pen from Sakura. Then I've done a page here in Grim Fairy Tales. Um, I've done um, the Lady with the Dragon and I've used um, the colored pencils from Delhi. Um, that was my first time using, using them. And I will put um, a complete list uh, of all the pencils I used in the description box below. Also, um, I've seen a flip through for, for another um, coloring book and um, realized that one of the images in this book is from that one. And um, yeah, if I would have <laughs> known that um, when I've bought this book, then I would have sent it back. But um, I have it for around a year now, so um, I can't send it back now. But um, just to be aware of, I think uh, not that uh, this is licensed. So um, yeah to be aware of. I wouldn't recommend um, supporting with buying that. So um, I also have um, done this page in pocket rooms and I've used only my old colored pencils and I was super un uh, unsatisfied with uh, the results, uh, especially with uh, the closet and um, the walls because I used around four or so different um, uh, pencils and it looks like um, I've only done it with one. Uh, um, so yeah, um, we'll use uh, the old colored pencils uh, only with uh, watercolor underneath. So I have this one done in a new book from Uziku, which is around. And I've used the black barreled um, Brute Funa um, colored pencils for that one. Um, also a white Japan and the um, pastel uh, classic uh, pastel colored pencils from Faber-Castell. Uh, I will put the list with all the um, pencils I've used um, in the description box below. Also, I have done some shorter videos um, while coloring it. So around one or two or three uh, from this little in images per video. And I will also upload them here on the channel. So then I have uh, done 
uh, one page in my um, Tales from the Forest Kingdom I've done the last page, the lantern, and I thought because of Halloween I wanted to make it like a ghost light or some spooky light. That's why I've used a lot of green in here. Um, I used uh, my old colored pencils, uh, semi-art watercolors, white gel pen, uh, metallic watercolors from Giorgione and Magic Fly. Also um, I've used um, the pastel uh, colored pencils from Faber Castell again and I've used the white um, gel pen and white Prismacolor um, uh, colored pencil as well. Then I have done one page in Nice Little Town 3. I've done the page with the dog and I've used Obos watercolor pencils for that without using water, just dry. And um, I also will put uh, a list of all the pencils I've used in the description box below. And um, yeah, I, I would love to know if some of you have uh, colored pencils or watercolored pencils from um, Obos and how is your um, experience with it? Because for drawing, drawing my experience was good, but uh, they broke a lot, like really a lot. Some of the pencils are, I don't know, is only one one third left or something like that. No, I, I they, they break, and I've sharpened them and they break again, and I'm just not sure if it's the quality um, which is the reason for that or um, the reason that um, where uh, from the seller um, where I got it from that they've um, done uh, something wrong with storage, because when I um, got the pencils they were moldy. And so maybe that uh, somehow um, dot, uh, done something bad to the lead. I, I'm, I'm not sure. So I would really, really love to know if you have some uh, pencils from this company and what, what your experience with it is. Yeah, so that were all my finished pages. pages. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching. Uh, I would love uh, to hear something for from you or if you have any questions just leave a comment i will be as always super thankful for a thumbs up or a follow that really really helps me and i hope you have a wonderful day and yeah hope to see you soon bye bye